Alrighty, morning everybody. Well, this is my second attempt at making this cast. Uh, the first, I had a deep six to last attempt just because uh, some of the visuals were wrong and I needed to make adjustments on them, but I had to do too many adjustments on them, so I, had to, I just ended up just, just shit canning the whole attempt. So, like I said, second attempt. Um, um, the, the music is going to be uh, Maga Ginkgo, their self-titled album. Uh, technically, it came out a year ago, but it actually got uploaded to YouTube either this morning or yesterday. So, so let me go ahead and get that going. And um, this might be a long one, and this is gonna be there's, there's gonna be a bunch of moving parts on this one too. So get ready for some goofs. Like I said, this is already my second attempt. So, um. Something else I was wanting to do. Oh, too late now. Oh, and I also forgot to mention it's uh it's 2:43 a.m. right now. Normally I try to do these somewhere between 3 to 3:30, but like I said, this might be a long one, so I gotta get started on it early. So, but to start with, uh, my pinball session yesterday it basically sucked. Now, Pinball FX3 went up. It, it it went adequately, adequately average. So didn't. I mean, I didn't royally suck, but then again, it wasn't exactly stellar either. So. But um. Now, Pinball Arcade, however, that it. With, with the exception of maybe the victory table. Um, which uh, I think I got. I got number three or number four on the high scores, so so pretty good run with that table. Oh, I'm uh, I'm taking a drink of uh, Arizona green tea. Hold on. But otherwise, the rest of the pinball arcade session went pretty shitty. Just couldn't get anything going. Um, wasn't making. Wasn't making my shots. I basically had the aim of a stormtrooper. Um, just and it, it's it's like the uh, the sides and the bottom of the table developed mat or it's like magnets appeared on the bottom and sides of the table. Like ball kept going, ball kept draining out the outlanes or straight down the middle. So so just just gotta hope for a uh, gotta hope for a decent session next week. Better luck next time. Um, one more thing I need to do. I totally forgot about this. It's up and running. So. But yeah, but any anyway, it once again overall the pinball session pretty much sucked. So gotta hope to get lucky next week. Oh and in case I didn't say, this is gonna be some more uh, instrumental instrumental music. Or I should say instrumental rock guitar music, I guess. But, um, I also did discover another, uh, live stream channel, uh, Dark Pagan Music Radio, and from what I've heard of it, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, uh, but, uh, it's, it's almost as good as the, uh, the, the Viking live stream music. I mean, I have, I'm, I've subscribed to that channel as well, but... Kind of hard to it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, I'm actually more into the into the dark pagan stuff now than the Viking music. Um, I could have sworn this is all instrumental.
All right. Um. So, shit. Because the thinking is going to get too distracted. Because I only, I only, uh, I spot listen to this album just in little parts here and there. So let me, let me just skip over to the next track. Hopefully it's an instrumental one. So, but anyway, um, but yeah, the stuff I was hearing in the Dark Pagan Radio is, I actually like more of the Viking music. I'm guessing probably because more variety. Because in the, uh, the Viking Radio, all they were playing was just Viking music. Obvious, but whereas uh, the Dark Pagan, you're hearing, you're hearing a greater variety of stuff. Um, it's not all just straight Viking music. There's like, I want to say Greek music. But uh, there's like uh, other different stuff in there as well. And um, and uh, I might have to, I might have to actually look at the uh, the Viking rate, the the Viking live stream. But um, I think uh, a lot of their music is copyrighted. Now, I'm taking. I'm, I'm taking this with a grain of salt because I have been burned by this before. Uh, Prometheus Studios comes to mind. You know, they got a, in their description it says something like, "Our music is free to use if you're only if you're using it for not commercial purposes." Which, yeah, I dived right in and started playing in my cast, but then I end up getting a uh, video, my uh, video or videos, uh, we're getting a copyright claim. So, it was a crock of shit there. So. So uh, I'm definitely not gonna be playing this playing this during my cast. I, if the game I'm streaming at the time can handle the extra animation, then yeah, I'll be playing some Dark Pagan music during my streams. Then. So, <coughs> taking another drink. Otherwise, just pretty much spent a good chunk of my night just playing Clicker Heroes like I was doing yesterday. No, I pretty much uh, I pretty much started over on this game, so and I guess while I'm here, let me go ahead and uh, get up to date on this. Four hours too long. But uh, to just give you the short answer on this, this is an idle game. Um. Basically, it's all about watching the numbers go up. So, should be good to go for a while. Oh, never mind. Whenever you, whenever you send these guys out on quests, there's always a small chance that they'll end up dying. And when you do that, you, you gotta get up. You have to replace them. But I have played this game before. Um, I used to play this way back in the day. Um, I'm just, just coming back around to it, just in an idle game mood. Um, I was gonna try playing some other idle games, but they're the kind that are 
for lack of a better word, hard. Like um, the 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 number scaling isn't quite isn't quite there. So you 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 only you're only gonna be able to check back like maybe once a day at best, because uh you can't progress for shit in these ones. But uh, Clicker Heroes here is uh one of the few exceptions. Progression is constant, so you'll always stay busy. But uh, I've loved idle, I've loved idle games ever since Cookie Clicker, which I it wasn't the first one that came out, but one of the first games. But I was pretty much bitten by the idle game bug. But these days, I don't play them that much. Um, just like the moon, I got my phases. So. But anyway. Um. And another thing that popped up. Uh oh, retard alert! Yep, messed that up. So. Found a pretty cool cool article. Um, he's a he's a fighting game legend named uh, Pat the Flip, A.K.A. Patrick Miller. But he's uh he'll often post articles, and this one here I found to be a pretty cool one. How do I find a fighting game I want to stick to? I I didn't read the whole article, but I think his short answer was uh, play what you like. I think somewhere in here. I can find it. Yeah, here it is. In fighting games, as in dating and relationships, I don't think it's easy to skip to the happy ending. In dating, we smash our lives up against someone else. <laughs> over and over again until we're either stuck together forever or we decide it's not going to take. And... And when we do it again with someone else, we're a lot, a little more aware of what we want and don't want in our lives than we were before. Yup. That's, but that's been my pattern too. Yeah, if your, if your attention is constantly being pulled from one game to another, take that as a sign that you're not quite ready to settle down yet and just enjoy the ride. That's, that's been, uh, that's been me too. Um. With the exception of Footsies, my all-time favorite 2D fighter, um, it's been a revolving door. Uh, currently, I'm playing Dragon Ball Fighters, but um, but even then, you know, if my you know, I don't see me playing the game forever. When my interest starts waning in that game, I'm gonna switch on over to something else. So, the reason I stuck with Footsies for so long is because unlike the vast majority of fighting games out there, Bootsies is only an, only an 8-bit game. So it uses next to no resources at all. Um, so back when I was playing Guild Wars 2, and um, I'm going to have to, side note, yeah, I'm going to have to kind of stray off the path on this. Um, I am, I am, I am trying to get uh, Guild Wars 2 up and running again, but the problem is, is uh, what are the add-ons? Um, Arc DPS? It's like a, it's like a damn fruit fly, or I should say, it's like a bunch of fruit flies. Once you doubt, once you get this add-on onto your game, it's next to impossible to get rid of it. I went on Guild Wars 2 itself, um, went to the add-ons folder, looked up Arc DPS, deleted the folder. Apparently, I got another Arc DPS folder in my computer somewhere. So, try to fire up uh, Guild Wars 2 again. Nope, the game still crashes. And um, I'm guessing this is the problem. Excuse me. And I'm hoping it's the only problem because it's it's a pretty common solution. If if um if Guild Wars 2 crashes, get rid of any add-ons you might have, or at best update them all. And usually it works after that, which is which has been my situation too. Um, Guild Wars 2 has crashed before. But again, all I have to do is just either remove an add-on or update it, or I should or reinstall it, and the game works fine after that. But not this time. 
So, so it looks like that's gonna, it's gonna take more work to try to, for me to be able to play Guild Wars 2 again. Because, because, uh, that, that's starting, that's starting back up too. Just like idle games. Um, I think the MMO phase is beginning to start back up again. I'm wanting to play them now. Um, but the problem is, is I'm, I'm just not feeling Final Fantasy XIV right now. So I'm, it's, I'm, I have more of a hankering for Guild Wars 2 than I do Final Fantasy XIV, so. I'm hoping that once I get my uh, Guild Wars 2 fix, then maybe I'll go, I'll go back and play some 14, but until then, it's probably, probably gonna be Dragon Ball Fighters. I ain't burnt out on fighting games. But like, like I said, the, uh, the desire to play MMOs is starting to come back. So, just like the, just like, um, just like the aforementioned Clicker Heroes. You know, the, you now I'm starting to get the idle game bitch, so currently scratching that. But yeah, otherwise, um, but like I said, I still haven't read this whole article, but I always read his articles though when I get a chance. Um, I guess kind of in a related yet unrelated note, um, Jessica Wildfire, another person I used to read a lot, most of hers now are just concerning the pandemic. It just, um, I'm starting to read her stuff. I'm like, yes, I get it. I get it. You know, but they're just variations on a theme with her now, so it, there's nothing more to read with her. So, but like I said, oh, oh, oh no, yeah, I can't highlight him. Maybe I can. And he, I think he's also up. He's one of the few fighting game legends I can think of that actually does post content like this, like, writes articles. I can't really think of anybody else that does this. Um, maybe, maybe the guy that wrote the, uh, wrote the uh, Killer Instinct strategy guide. That's the only other one I can think of. Um, Guilty Gear Rev 2. I can't, I can't remember his name, but I think he, I think he wrote an article. But with those two there, they wrote an A article, and that's it. But like, but uh, Pat Miller here, he does this kind of thing for a living. So, like I said, I like reading this guy when I get a chance. Otherwise, um, that, that's going to do it for me, and it, oh, wow, only eight, quote-unquote, only 18 minutes. I figured this would have gone on a lot longer. Because, like I, like I said, I I originally planned on this being probably, probably like a 30-minute, 30 30-minute 30 cast. So, yeah, big surprise. I ain't complaining too much. So, but otherwise, um, otherwise, that's going to do it for me, everybody. I'm just going to go ahead and call it good. I guess I said all the things I wanted to say this morning, so. But, but otherwise, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me. I appreciate that. Always do. And, um, today will be my last cast for the week because, uh, my work week has started up. So, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, those are my work nights. And, um, so you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.